All right. We're gonna mic you up here. Wonderful. My name is Colin Johnson. I'm Dr. Mangelo's grandson. This is about telling my grandma's story and really educating people about who she was. This is someone who was raised in Stamps, Arkansas, back in a time where if you were a young black woman, you didn't stand a chance. My mother's boyfriend raped me. I was seven, so I stopped speaking for five years. In those five years, I read every book in the black school library. Those had to be significant years when she was drinking that information before she could express herself. When I decided to speak, I had a lot to say. She found a voice that would never be quieted again. Maya Angelou! I remember Maya making her entrance very tall, very grand. I sang, but I wasn't a trained singer. And at least once every two or three weeks, one of the singers would say to me, Maya, you flattered that G, or you flattered that A. I didn't even know I was singing in the alphabet. She ends up traveling the world and writing a book that so many people cite as having changed their life. I know why the caged bird sings. It was a very important literary feat. The caged bird sings of freedom. It was the opening for me to want to be a writer. It reflected uh, my own mother's life. It was the first time I read something that resonated. She was big. And she had the voice of God. All of the things that she stood for, for literacy, advocacy, helping women and children out, her work and her words continue to have a positive message and can help to change the world.